practice for blogging uh, can make you get away with practically anything. Uh, but as far as uh, I'm concerned, as a blogger, uh, I would rather exercise prudence and uh, some degree of responsibility uh -huh. in uh, publishing media outputs. Uh -huh. And I think the same case applies to all other bloggers. Uh, actually, this is one of our advocacies also to reach out to as many bloggers as possible mm -hmm. to be conscious of the fact that they are operating within a public sphere. So while, okay, it's admirable that you've admitted that uh, your first reaction was that uh, you were very incensed with what happened, that's fine. You're only human, but you did not do it publicly. But the bloggers, but there are some bloggers, mm -hmm. okay, who who just simply resorted to name calling and used a lot of logical fal uh, fallacious arguments in uh, making their point. How does that help shape public opinion? Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, as far as bloggers are concerned, uh, yes, they can get away with anything. Yes, there is freedom of expression, but uh, quoting from a movie, a popular movie, with great power comes great responsibility. So we have yeah. to be responsible still. Okay, so they're held accountable to the same uh, tenets standards. of yeah, the same standards as a regular journalist? Well, uh, I think it's irresponsible for us to say that blogging is journalism. It's definitely not. Mm -hmm. Because uh, mm -hmm. as part of the new media, there are three kinds of media, right? Journalism, advertising and public relations, and entertainment. Mm -hmm. Bloggers can choose a mix of everything or just focus on one. Right. So it's not really journalism. But there are still certain standards that must be observed. And I think Journalism ethics, given that this is the oldest field in media ethics, uh, it can help. It mm -hmm. can be used as basis. Mm -hmm. And I think proof of this, Cheche, is uh, in cyberjournalist.net. Uh, that particular website came up with a blogger's code of ethics as early as 2003. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The basis for the blogger's code of ethics is the one uh, implemented by the Society of Professional Journalists, or the SPJ. Okay. So it's quite logical to do right. that. But Kaloy here has a problem now facing him, no? <laughs> yeah. as he expressed. Uh, he's both a blogger and a journalist, and he has this, th this dichotomy of whether he is one or the other, and he's saying he can't be both. Well, uh, for the longest time, I was both. <laughs> Actually, until he still this, is. Uh, uh, no, uh, Why, you're planning I'm to resign? Is, I'm, still, uh, I'm, still, I'm still a blogger and I'm still a journalist, but I'm a, a journalist first and foremost. That's what I'm... Uh, but, but you're having definitely. difficulty now. I'm Def having difficulty defining. because my, my instincts, my values as a journalist is kicking in. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's difficult because, you know, while I, you know, I submit that bloggers, they can get away with it. You know, it's, the, the medium is built in, built in such a way that, yeah. you know, um, yeah. people expect if somebody happens to you, you God knows what happened to you, you can easily, you, you can just publish it and, you know, uh, create a, create a, uh, uh, create a storm. And, right. uh, the thing is, with blogging, there's the system, unlike journalism, where we have, we have, uh, 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 gatekeepers. gatekeepers, we have editors, there's a reason why we have editors, there's a yeah. reason why we have gatekeepers. Uh -huh. Blogging, most bloggers don't have that. Well, considering well, now that this, this uh, libel case has been filed, yes. does that mean that no bloggers are now safe from, uh, having from cases, yeah? Um, that's true. They've always been uh, subject to uh, mm. libel liability. Uh -huh. That was that's one of the things that, that the risks that they, they run. Yeah. But um, just going back to the previous point, uh, the gatekeeper for bloggers is credibility. Yeah. So uh, whereas uh, for media outlets, the gatekeepers for credibility are, are the people in charge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the case of a blogger, he's protecting his own um, his credibility as a blogger. So that that's what. Um, controls or cabins his uh, yeah. Yeah. his uh, his discretion in, in whether or not to post something. Mm -hmm. But I think it's it's uh, erroneous it's market, to, to right? impose yeah to yeah. impose uh, journalism ethics on on bloggers. On bloggers. Yeah. bloggers are not journalists. Bloggers yeah. are people in their spare time um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, making comments on something that they see online. As okay. I said, the only fact check I'm going to do as a blogger is anything I can find on Google yeah. Yeah. after two or three passes. And uh, uh, if, if it's there, it's credible. If it's there, it's credible. <laughs> if it's not, it's, so I'm not. Yeah. It's I, I am not a bastion of truth when I'm when I'm blogging. Yeah. I'm speaking my opinion. Yeah. So I, he. So this libel threat is really a Damocles sword that will now hang over bloggers as well. Um, in a sense, yeah. yes, yes, it's that's possible. true. But you know, in the case of let's say in the case of Bambi de la Paz, I don't think she was under any obligation to give a hundred percent truth of what yeah. happened. It, certainly, she gave what she believed was her version of the events and how she perceived things. Okay. And and other people did the same thing. Yeah. Uh, so I think that that's okay. 
That's right. what blogging is about. It's we, yeah. for us to say that bloggers should act a certain way. Yeah. Well, if bloggers act ir irresponsibly, their credibility gets hurt, and therefore uh -huh. the gatekeeper yeah. yes. and people will stop believing them. Okay, so, and stop reading and them and stop reading them. Yeah. So yeah. Er, you know, earlier JJ, you were talking about biases that naturally kicked in in this De La Paz Pangandaman incident. Yes, as, as mentioned by Kaloy, you know, uh, the, right. um, the, the, the narrative here was uh, compelling. Uh, you have somebody who is uh, politically powerful, who is, uh, who is rich, uh -huh. who, is, uh, who has taken, um, uh, what, uh, used that power on somebody who is defenseless and helpless. And it's the same storyline that we've seen before in other areas yes, where bloggers exactly. have come out. No? Uh, the Brian, the uh, Malu, yeah. Brian Grell case yeah, and Malu, uh, Fernandez. Malu Fernandez case. These are people who are rich, people who are uh, in, in the right social circles, as it were, taking, uh, taking their biases and exploiting those who are weak and, and helpless. Mm -hmm. And so that, that story resonates uh, to people in general. And I think that's the reason why the bloggers were eager to, to believe that this was true. Uh, when I read the post myself, I, I, I must admit that I read it with a bit of skepticism because I figured it does not make sense for somebody to start a fight unless yeah. he was sufficiently provoked. provoked I'm not yeah. saying that it was justifiable that, uh, that, that it was reduced to violence, but yeah. I'm saying that there must have been something here. There's something that's not being said. Yeah. So I held off. I said, you know, there's some things, something's going to come out later. Well, but, I think he's more yeah. sensible than us because yeah. I took yeah. it hook, line, and sinker yeah. as you okay. did. You know, he talks about credibility, and I think that's important to, to, to point to talk further about this because in my case, it presents uh, what I can only describe as an exquisite dilemma. <laughs> <laughs> because being a journalist, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, look, the nature of blogging is that it's a very loose, it's a very, very, you know, it's, 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 it's chaotic. It's not defined. It's, yes. it's not yeah. defined. Anything goes, no holds barred and all that. You go into that world, you, r you run the risk of really getting, getting caught up in there. Mm -hmm. As a journalist, that presents a, that presents a problem because once you are hit with a uh, bump like this that I, I have in this case, that uh, it turns out that my initial reaction, my initial blogs about this case, I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's incomplete. My credibility suffers as a journalist, not so yeah. much as a blogger, but as a journalist. Mm -hmm. And sooner or later, I have to figure out, look, what, which, which of the two hats I, 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 I value most. Obviously, yeah. it's being a journalist because yeah. that's where yeah. I get my money. But I think the, yeah. the fact that you struggle with this dilemma enhances your credibility. Because well, you could take the other route and say, hey, whatever I said before, I'm sticking, by, I'm sticking with my yeah. guns. But the fact that you struggle with it and you enhances your criticize. credibility and you're, you're yeah. honest to your readers and you're saying, I can make a mistake. Yeah. Do you yeah. admit mistakes? For example, do, do you I correct do. yourself? I do, yeah. I do uh -huh. admit mistakes. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. if, you know, uh, you, know we can, you can slice an onion any other way. You can, you can justify what you did. You can rationalize everything, but when you make a mistake, in this case, I made a mistake of not checking the story. Okay. Not that I'm, not, not that I'm dubi I was dubious about it. It's just that, you know, my instinct as a journalist you got You did not vet it. Yeah. Well, you did there not was no way to vet it. Exactly. There was no way to vet it. Uh, well, there was a clap down in uh, Valley Golf. Yeah. No well, what I could have done was held off on my... Yeah. But I said, the bloggers, bloggers... I mean, as a journalist. Sit, I said, this is yeah, where... Bloggers sit down and yeah. whatever can be verified yeah, right. online. But I think this is where certain standards and principles of journalism could be useful yeah. because there are a lot of angles that can be explored. For example, the fact that the Valley Golf and Country Club has a website yeah. and that you know, for example, how much it costs to be there. So we can see some, you know, class... Well, we can demystify more or less the fact that the, the, that the De La Pazes are not as poor as uh, some bloggers uh -huh. uh, claimed them to be. No, uh, to, to be, be fair to the De La Pazes, uh, they did not say that they were poor or that they were financially challenged or anything. <laughs> but there were some bloggers who said that it's a struggle between the rich and the poor. Actually, it's not. And just going to the website of the Wild Goffling Country Club can make, can, can make you jump to that conclusion. But I think the better lesson to be lear learned here as opposed to bitter. Yeah, uh, yeah. The better lesson to be learned here is that uh, I think uh, this should serve as a wake-up call for all of us to be quite responsible for, uh, in terms of making comments because it's true, I agree with JJ, that uh, we cannot impose standards and yeah. journalists will be the last to do that because, for example, in journalism, the code of ethics that mm -hmm. we observe are mm -hmm. not codified, right? These are not laws. These are self-regulatory mechanisms. Mm -hmm. I think the same case apply, that should apply uh, to blogging. Mm -hmm. So responsibility, I think, should be... On hindsight, what went wrong? 
we jump to the, the conclusion. The Christmas season? <laughs> yeah, the Christmas season. Slow, Slow news day. Slow news, news day. day. And I think the other, no, thing, I... the other thing that uh, sort of fueled the flames was, um, and which I find interesting, was the reaction of the, the secretary. Yes. Uh, when uh, when he said, please stop blogging about this. Yeah. And I thought that was interesting. Uh, and, and, and a colleague mentioned that it only 